In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you seven tips on how to start and scale your social media marketing agency from zero to $30,000 per month. Now make sure you stay for all the tips, the seventh being the most important. This is all based off of my opinion, but I wanna help you get your very own business from zero to $30,000 per month. So let's get into the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Carter. I'm the co-founder of Versatile Agency, a full service mortgage and real estate specialized agency doing everything from A to Z to help realtors scale and build their personal brand. But if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you being here. Uh, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year and quite literally only you watching this video right now can make that happen. Uh, you have to click the red button below. So if you wanna just help me get to my goal, feel free to you know click that and take part in this journey. Uh, like the video as well, comment down below some videos you'd like to see so I can help you out with your journey and scaling your own business. But yeah, if you have been subscribed last week, I didn't post any videos, which I'm super mad about. I was actually stranded in Ottawa for any of you that follow me on Instagram. Yeah, the, the vehicle I took down there broke down, so I had to stay and get it fixed, which obviously made it very difficult to film anything. There'll be a full vlog coming out for that whole trip, which will be absolutely crazy. Super excited uh, to see that. I've been posting some vlog content, some different style content. If you guys like that, comment down below as well. I'll try to you know vlog more about my day. Overall, this channel is just about helping you guys watching and also just documenting and having this sort of as a time capsule to look back on my entire journey from you know starting the social media marketing agency. I believe I've posted since the very beginning. So regardless, kind of going on to tangent now, but this video is gonna be about helping you scale a social media marketing agency from zero to $30,000 per month. I'm gonna give you seven tips that I believe are the most important to get to $30,000 per month. Now, I'm stressing I believe because there's a lot of channels out there like myself that are probably given totally different tips and probably saying that some of the stuff I'm gonna bring up is absolutely useless. Personally, it's helped me scale, so uh, I'm just giving you the tips that I think are the most important, so let's get into that. So tip number one is defining your target market. Now, what I mean by that is basically niching down. And the only reason I'm saying this is because there's a lot of people that still come to me and they message me about uh, finding a niche, what's the best niche, what's the perks of the real estate niche, should I go into this niche? It's just, it doesn't matter. Pick any niche you want. As long as you somewhat like it, you enjoy it, you, you I don't know, you, you like the niche, it really does not matter. There's no golden niche whatsoever. Pick a niche and just focus on that niche. Quite literally, I'm releasing a podcast with Cody May. Uh, he's massive in the real estate niche for his social media marketing agency. He's doing seven figures. And he said the most important thing, his number one tip was just niching down. So if you're watching this and you're still being a generous agency, you're working with everyone because you need the money, just start now, niche down. That's by far the most important. That's gonna be tip number one. Tip number two is to build your brand. Now this is probably controversial and I know a lot of people will say, don't worry about you know posting content or doing anything like that until you have clients and whatnot and you're established. I disagree. I think honestly getting into the habit of consistently posting long form video content on YouTube, posting reels on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube shorts, LinkedIn, get on everything, start building a brand, start building an audience. Some of my highest paying clients are inbound from platforms like LinkedIn because they see my videos, they like it. And honestly, a lot of clients has, have also vetted me and decided to work with me because I don't seem scammy through all the content that I have. Quite literally, some of my clients will come back to a second call when I'm trying to close them and say, hey, I watched like four of your YouTube videos. You, you, you seem real, even though you're not an actual business that has a location, you're fully based online, and I'll probably never meet you in, your, in my life. But I trust you because you vetted me through my content, they vetted me through my content. So it's helped sign a lot of clients. It makes me seem you know, more legit. You can also showcase your knowledge through the long form content on YouTube, through your reels on Instagram. So I'm also a firm believer in just building the habits of consistently posting, because it's a lot of work filming this video. I don't feel like filming sometimes. I still sit in the front of the camera. I still film. Uh, I still actually edit some of these YouTube videos. I don't edit the, the shorter reels, but so it's a lot of work and just builds good character. So build your brand, 
because I think that's huge and also, you know, develops a lot of good character and a good traits as far as habits go. So that's my second tip is all about building a brand. So now we're gonna jump into creating a good offer and having multiple different sort of services. So what I mean by this is don't just have one package. This held me back. Uh, maybe it's just cause I'm in the real estate niche, but I don't know, I think it kind of makes sense for all niches. So this is something that held me back. I used to just have one offer like one package, one pricing, it was like $1,200 a month, this is the ad spend, this is what you get, and that's all I have, so it's either you're doing that or there's nothing else. That held me back because some individuals might even wanted more than that. They're, they might be a team, they might be doing a lot of deals, they might have a bigger budget, and I'm not even giving the, them the option to spend more. There's no premium package, there's no gold, there's nothing like that. So now what I do is I have a basic package for some lower ticket individuals that wanna get their feet wet, I have the middle package, the silver package, and then I have the gold team package, the premium package, uh, which is where you'll get everything. And what this has done psychologically to the clients that I'm in the Zoom call with is they now feel like they're making the decision. They have the freedom to choose what it is that they want to do. They're not being told, this is it. This is the one package. You do this or you do nothing. So psychologically, I feel like it, it works from that aspect. I, could be totally wrong about that. I just, I feel like it works. Uh, so don't quote me on the, this actual psychological aspect behind that. But uh, yeah, so this is something that helped me because first of all, I can actually just get more clients because now I'm offering a little bit lower ticket and also getting paid more for people that go on the higher ticket. And it makes the, the silver package, the middle package look, you know, the best kind of like the small cup, medium cup, large cup that McDonald does with the prices. Um, not going to go into that marketing scheme, but it's kind of the same thing. So that's the third tip is developing your packages with that system. And then also your offer. Having a great offer is key. In the very early stages of starting your social media marketing agency, you can have a phenomenal offer because you have no overhead. There's zero risk whatsoever for you. There's no team you have to pay. Maybe, well, you probably have go high level. So that's 300 bucks a month. So you might have to eat $300 or $97 at the beginning. That's the worst case scenario. So what I would do is have something that's absolutely ridiculous, have a phenomenal offer. Um, you know, if I don't get you a return on investment in six months, 90 days, whatever your contract length is, I don't know, it all depends on niche. I'll give you a full money back and I'll continue to work for free to prove to you that I'm a very young, determined, motivated individual. I know that what I do does work, will work and has worked. And I wanna prove that to you through the guarantee that I have. Have an extremely good offer where you're gonna make people feel dumb if they don't say yes and they don't get on because you're, you're guaranteeing something that's crazy. Obviously making sure you have good service delivery in place, but have a crazy offer, have your packages laid out like that, and that's the third tip. Now the fourth tip is developing a sales funnel. Now if this was a video on how to get to zero to 5,000 per month or even like zero to, to 8,000, 10,000, I probably wouldn't be giving this tip, but I think to get higher, like 20, 25, 30,000, you need to have some more uh, systems in place and a little bit more credibility. So a sales funnel is just a simple one page landing page. On this funnel, you can have you know past testimonials if you've done a free trial yet with a client. You can put everything about me. You can uh, you know briefly put your your packages as far as like how you have them laid out. Don't put the pricing ever but you can just put that you have three packages and this is what they all entail as far as the services that you provide. You wanna keep it pretty basic. You wanna have people be able to book a call on that landing page. But overall, what this does is it just builds credibility. It makes you look more professional. People can go there to check it out and learn more about you. So you just get, people just vet you more through landing pages and overall they turn into higher quality leads. If they're booking a call from that landing page, most likely, they're gonna be pretty vetted and pretty qualified. And then also, if you wanna start running paid advertisements, you send all the traffic to the landing page, it qualifies them, vets them. Uh, you can have a VSL on there, whatever you wanna do, but overall, develop some sort of uh, landing page and, and get that set up. Tip number five is gonna be hiring a team. So, it all depends on the niche and it all depends how high, how high ticket your offer is, but most likely, you're gonna have a good amount of clients and you're gonna have a good amount of work to do and you're not gonna be able to do it all yourself or you're gonna spread yourself extremely thin and you're just gonna be stuck because you're not gonna be able to work on the business. You're gonna be constantly working in the business, which is what you don't want because you won't be able to scale anymore. So you gotta hire someone, preferably uh, you know, an ad specialist. Now, let me get this straight, but what I mean by hire someone is you should already know how to do all the roles and do everything within your business. I'm a firm believer in that. I don't think you should be hiring out anything you can't do yourself and or better than that individual. The reason being for this is 
you will just be stuck in your own business. Say, I don't know how to media buy and I'm horrible at it. I just hire one and it is what it is. If that individual ever leaves or they want a higher price and he's managing eight clients, I don't have a choice but to pay him more because he can't leave. If he leaves, my whole business is done because I don't know how to do what he does. So make sure that you know how to do everything within your business or you know how to do that position before you hire them because then you have leverage over that individual. They are useless to you. Sure, obviously eventually you're gonna be doing a lot of work and you probably can operate without them because you'd have to not do a lot of other tasks. But at the end of the day, you can do what they do. So you don't need them, they need you, you're paying them. So learn how to do everything within your business before you actually hire. But to get to $30,000 per month, I feel like you should have uh, you know, a media buyer that you trust, you train them, they're good, and he can manage clients and you can manage clients. That's basically all you'll need. Uh, maybe you can get a sales guy, you can get an appointment setter. You don't have to actually have a massive team, but just have individuals to help you out with the actual service delivery. So it keeps the quality, it's still good, and you have people overall just to help you. Tip number six is gonna be offering higher ticket services. So this kind of goes back to tip number four with the packaging, the pricing, and how you sort of lay that out. You want to have higher ticket. So 3,500 a month, 2,500 a month, 4,000 a month, whatever it may be. Have this for the individuals that are doing a lot more. The teams, the you know people that are closing more deals, the people that are doing more roofs, whatever niche you're in, it doesn't matter. Make sure you're giving people the option. I can't believe how many individuals I speak to that don't even have the option to go higher ticket. They're doing what I was doing. I made the mistake. I just had one package, it was 1,200 a month. Who knows how many people I signed on that would have gone and would have paid way more if I offered more. So make sure you have a higher ticket as an option and it'll make the other packages look better as well. And this is actually how you'll scale and get to the next level by getting those you know, whale clients, those higher ticket um, clients. Tip number seven is something that has helped me drastically and just created so many opportunities and that's just networking and being collaborative. And this kind of goes back to the brand development, which is why I stress that so much because just by you know the small following that I have on Instagram, on YouTube, on the other platforms has given me the opportunity to meet a lot of individuals uh, just through social media, people in this space, other realtors doing you know a lot of deals brokerages, team owners, regional broker owners, and it's just provided me with a lot of opportunity to learn from them, build relationships with them, they introduce you to more people, you work with those people. You'd be shocked how much just networking can help your business and help it explode. And all of it comes down to producing content. That's realistically how you're gonna meet people, people will reach out to you, doing podcasts, stuff like that, uh, filming videos with them. So. Um, that's why I'm huge on brand development because at the end of the day, that also correlates to you know networking and uh, collaborating with content and whatnot, building relationships, which will result to you know making more money. So that's the tip seven. At the end of the day, all this is not possible if you're not willing to put in the work. So I think that was you know the biggest thing that I stress to people is everyone's just like, oh, you know, I sent like ten messages and uh, no one responded. I think I need to change my script or or change niches. No, it just comes down to putting in a relentless amount of work. Uh, you're gonna take a lot of no's. You might not sign your client for like three and a half months. It might take four months, five months, six months. But the only way you can fail is if you quit. So don't quit, you'll never fail. Keep putting in the work. I believe in you. Thanks for watching this video. Do me a favor. I wanna hit this goal of 10,000 subscribers at the end of the year, but I, I literally, this is the only goal I can't do it myself. You literally need to do it for me. You have to click the subscribe button. I, you, you have to help me hit that goal. So hit the subscribe button, like, comment down below, and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.